Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Forever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I owe you, and let's watch this together. I wasn't aware that Pablo and Stel performed other songs as well. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. I am so looking forward to this. Now you're telling me this song of Pablo's is more up his street, as in really intense and um, vocal heavy. Um, so I'm looking forward to him singing this. And then, yes, yeah, Stel's going to continue like gyrating against a mic stand and generally being sexy and a nuisance in my life. What is new in this situation? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Oh, the eyes are closing already. He's gonna get into this. Who? Oh. You can already tell he's so much more comfortable with this. I wonder if the two songs that he chose to perform on this night are an insight into what he might release as a solo song next. The funny thing is, as gorgeous as he looks, as distracting as this outfit is, for some reason now I'm really focused on the song, like something about him and this song really really works well. <laughs> Okay, now I'm distracted by the trousers again. <laughs> I feel as angry as he does performing this. Oh my god, I love it when he gets lost in the song completely. Like, even if you were to look him in the eyes, that's not Pablo right now. He is so living the story of this character, and I can't even understand the lyrics. I mean, this is an amazing performance. You see the difference suddenly, actually. I get it now. Yeah, he's a lot more comfortable than this. This works for his voice, for his style. Um, and the other one was a cover, right? You see the difference between the two. Um, but this is really interesting. I'm going to need to listen to the original.
down on your knees. Get down there. Oh my god. I love to see him suddenly come out of that character back into the real world because it's just so different to what he was doing just then. But he's going to release a song like this in the very near future. I, I'm predicting it. I'm calling it out. Um, this is so him. A great, great choice for his voice. And I just think like he wanted to get down there on his knees. He wanted to be a little bit more extreme. Perhaps this stage or this uh, location is not quite right for that that amount of intensity. But you can imagine like if he would have a song like this at one of their own concerts, SB19 concerts, Key is just gonna let rip. This was so good. And now I'm craving like a proper official recording of this. Like this sounded so good from fan cam footage. So can you imagine if he actually recorded these vocals? How amazing that would sound. I love Pablo so much. You will see. <laughs> you will see why I am saying this without saying anything at all. I have so much respect for Pablo, like for Rolo, his lyric writing skills, compositions, performance. There aren't many people in the world that are built the way that he is. So complicated. And it always leaves you wanting more. Oh, how am I going to get over this? This is going to be on loop constantly. And actually, apart from where I guess he needed to go up high or into his falsetto, the rest of this was absolutely perfect. I've really not noticed that before, you know? If it weren't for you pointing that out to me, that perhaps he's not that confident in his falsetto, I... The rest of his voice is so massive, his personality and presence is so massive, that it just never really stood out to me. Hmm. Interesting. Now, it's... The turn of Stell, for goodness sake, let me roll my eyes and get really mad already. <laughs> testing my patience like this, but what's happened to him? I think I've got a temperature. for this the look changed in his eyes he is so dangerous changed <laughs> whoa 
I've been really glad I didn't watch the two performances back to back, you know? I am so annoying. I'm not even sorry. Last time, I promise. That transition, the control over his voice. Oh my god. You really get his personality from his voice, don't you? The energy, the fun, the positivity. 